What would you say if the next iPhone looked like this? I mean, no notch, just the cutout for the camera and completely clean design. I mean, that would be really interesting. So let's start with the video right now. The hole punch. The term created by Marquez from MKBHD for a cutout on a screen similar to the notch that we are already used to but more like a circle only for one camera lens, perhaps just two camera lenses and some other sensors but it's not the usual notch that we are used to. Do you think that it could ever make its way to the iPhone? The smartphones this year started to copy Apple and they all have the notch at the top or call it whatever you want, I mean, we can argue who had the notch first, but there are many smartphones out there who use this technology, who are using the notch, the cutout at the top of the phone, in order to hide there the speaker, the sensors, and also the front-facing camera. But other than that, there is an other way how you can actually get almost bezel-less design without the notch at the top. But some companies, like for example Samsung and their latest flagship, the Samsung Galaxy S10, is supposed to have the hole punch, let's call it like that. It is supposed to have the weird cutout for the camera on the top of the screen, so yeah. And there are also some devices that are already having this, for example the Honor View 20, which already uses the new design. So could we get something like this on an iPhone? Is this design also the future for the iPhones? In my personal opinion, it's not going to happen this year nor the next year for Apple. Because we know Apple already, when they have some sort of design and if they want to change it, they make a subtle change or make bigger change perhaps and they keep it. You know, when there were only smaller iPhones, they started to adapt the 4-inch screen and for, for a while they were only selling iPhones with 4-inch screen. And similar thing was when they also released the Plus models. Now it is the very same thing with this new design which also features the notch. So when the iPhone 10 came out, we also had to get used to it and now the, this year or the, in 2018, the entire lineup of iPhones was consisting of only iPhones having the notch on their screen. So yeah, if Apple decides to make a change, they will make it like this and we don't have to worry about it that Apple will change the design every single year. We also know for a fact that there has to be some sort of way and there has to be some place where the camera and the speaker actually will be. On those smartphones that only have the front facing camera on the display as the cutout, they don't have anything else, they also had to solve the problem with the speaker which is kind of tricky and they are probably going to be using, I mean the Samsung Galaxy S10 will probably be using the method where they use some sort of vibration system where you simply use your phone normally, you put it to your ear and you will still hear. It will not be like a normal speaker but you should be able to make phone calls with this. And I'm not sure where they will put the sensors, I mean for the automatic brightness and some other stuff that needs to be there and at this point is present or hidden in the notch. I'm not sure where they will find it or where they will put it. It will definitely be a challenge and I don't really think that Apple will drastically change that. I don't think they will decide to do this. Anyways, I still think that it is a nice way to see how it could actually look. I mean, having concepts like this is really useful all the time and I also made some concepts in the past in case you don't want to miss those in the future then click the subscribe button right now, definitely don't forget about that. And also take a look at the other concept which I made about the camera of the iPhone, where there was talk about the three lenses that could also be part of the next year's iPhone. We don't know for sure how it's going to look, but I tried to make it look the way I thought it would look, so you can definitely take a look at it. I will put the link to that video in the description as well. Remember, we are still talking about the possibilities and the possibility actually that Apple will come with this technology this year or the next year, but I don't think that this will happen. Just think about the apps. You know, I will come back to the past once again. When Apple switched uh, the, or when they introduced new iPhones with the bigger screen, with the iPhone 6, the 4.7 inch screen was lacking app support. I mean that you could use some apps, of course, like the older ones from the 4 inch iPhones, but it was it was just like stretch on the screen and it looked terrible and uh, it took some time until the developers actually made the changes to those apps in order for the app to look good on the screen. Uh, and this is exactly what happened when we also got this new design. We also had the apps only like 
uh, this and there wasn't any use for the notch or for the bunny ears at the top. It was kind of terrible and we also had to wait for the developers to fix that. I mean, right now, most of the apps are working properly. These were, of course, the uh, the native apps. But, I mean, the third-party apps from the App Store. Now it should be okay, but, but I don't really think that Apple will try to make developers do changes again. I mean, if they would introduce the new design with the hole punch, the developers would have to create, once again, apps for another way or for another type of the screen so i don't really think that they will do this and i also think that it is logical we didn't really expect uh, apple to behave like the android developers where they will give you pretty much anything you could ever imagine not caring about how well it's going to work or not, not caring about other things they just give you what you want but apple on the other hand in my opinion of course is trying to make things perfect and they also wait some time until they release you can disagree with me if you want but uh, this is how i feel it and and that's why i also use apple in everyday life anyway it is nice to see the concepts so yeah let me know what you guys think about this this whole situation down below and let me know what you think about this new concept and let me know if you would actually buy a device like this in case apple would really go ahead and release a uh, release an iphone with this type of screen let me know what you think about that and so thank you for watching anyways i really hope you found this video useful and informative and if you don't want to miss the future content in case you want to stay updated then definitely click the subscribe button right now leave a thumbs up on this video to let me know that you like this one and see you in the next video peace out guys